Welcome back. With midterm elections under a week away now, the frequency of political ads seems to be heightened day by day. The tone of those ads, often negative toward the candidate's opponent, is something that not everyone enjoys hearing on their TVs and radios. Nicole Christine met with one local lady who has vocalized her anger at political ads in a very unique way. Nicole joins us now with more on that, Nicole. Yeah, Tom, while many political experts will tell you that negative ads do work, that doesn't mean they're favored by the general public. And for one Brazil woman, they became such a bother that she decided to create her own ad in response. Linda Mesmer says she likes to be an informed voter. That means she reads up on candidates and pays attention to their ad campaigns. But Mesmer says this year's Indiana Senate race put her over the edge. They were just throwing mud and cow manure at each other. It was just unbearable. And I thought, I don't like this. I want to get away from it. So I, every time an ad would come on with one of these two people, I would either mute my TV or turn off the TV or radio. But Mesmer found even that wasn't enough and decided to take matters into her own hands, buying a radio spot on WAMB to send politicians a message. I am sick and tired of being bombarded with all the negative, hateful, mean-spirited ads. To all the candidates who are running these kinds of ads, I say, stop it. Mesmer says she fears the message these negative ads are giving to the newest generation of voters. Oh, it's going to show kids, uh, young voters, it's going to show a whole generation of people, boy, this is how you get what you want. You don't respect anybody. You throw mud, talk about them. The trend of negative ads is one that ebbs and flows in the United States, but has been around for hundreds of years. In terms of a documented record, we have a lot from 1800. So this was, John Adams was running for re-election against Thomas Jefferson. And it, wa it, it descended into incredible negativity. And while television ads are more regulated in other countries, that doesn't mean negative ads aren't circulated elsewhere. Television is not the only medium anymore. Uh, things are done through the internet and that negative advertising that makes it onto television in the U.S. simply migrates over to the internet in other countries. Dean Olson says that while research shows that negative ads work, he doesn't want people to be discouraged about changing the current campaigning formula. I think it will take some sort of public response though and will to collectively uh, try and reject that style. A public response we see in Linda Mesmer, who's being selective about where she puts her stamp of approval. The only thing else I would add is I'm Linda Mesmer and I approve this interview. Dean Olson encourages people to pay attention to the ends of political ads where there will be a specific endorsement message if the candidate has approved the message. He says oftentimes the nastiest ads are not endorsed by a candidate, something voters should keep in mind. Tom. All right, thank you, Nicole. Linda Mesmer is extending a challenge to Senator Donnelly and candidate Braun to come visit her at her home to talk about these political ads and their agendas face to face. If you'd like to listen to her full ad, we've attached a link to it on our website, mywabashvalley.com.